Good question. I want to ask all of our guests on the show today the same thing. So my friends, what habit have you formed over the last few months that you're actually going to keep? Like it's something you like. And you know what? I'm going to start with you, B. Does it, is it a bad thing or is it weird that in my profession I choose the D answer of there's, I haven't done my nails in months. You know I'm on a gray hair journey. This actually forced me to be on the journey, not to go to the salon and pretend I'm doing stuff. Oh, but it's still gray. No, no, this is the only reason I'm, uh, my hair is done and I'm putting on makeup is for you, Tracy. I'm telling you, I am all for less, less, less moving forward. Here's my big thing. I haven't thought about my body in months and I did not realize how much being in front of a camera from head to toe, a head to toe shot was affecting the way I felt about my body. I'm sitting in this seat. You don't know what's going on under here. This could be pajamas. Maybe I'm not wearing pants, but the fact <laughs> of the matter is I don't really care if they do up or if they don't do up anymore because I don't feel like I have that relationship with having to have the perfect appearance. So Bahar, you're so off the hook. Even in the beauty industry, you should kind of let it all hang out a little bit. It's kind of nice. Okay, Massimo, let me throw this to you. What have you, um, like what kind of a habit have you developed in isolation and you're thinking, I want to hang on to this? I'm cooking more at home. And as you know, I told you many times, I mean, I go to every restaurant that I can uh, enter into and I like all foods so but this quarantine here has forced me to actually start making the food that I like in my house so I um, I've, I've been learning about uh, Asian cuisine Japanese cuisine Indian cuisine and I've been doing all of these dishes and uh, I think that that habit is gonna stay with me because there's nothing like sitting at home uh, cooking and then eating, having a cocktail, sitting out on the porch or in the kitchen and having a drink with your wife and, and your kids. I mean, it is just unbelievably beautiful. It's so peaceful, you know. Then you get to eat the rewards of all of that labor. So that's a beautiful habit to hang on to, Massimo. I like it. So, LA, if you are thinking about your time in isolation, is there something you've started doing that you're just going to keep doing? Without a doubt, it is using my phone as a phone and not just a magical little computer that fits in my pocket to text and email people. I have reconnected with so many friends. I, I'm so lucky to have a really tight knit group of girlfriends, but I'll be honest, like we rarely took time out of our schedules to dig in deep and have phone conversations. And it was usually just texts trying to book the next coffee date, which oftentimes got pushed back because we're all so busy. And we've realized that we don't need the face to face to stay super, super connected, that we can have these great conversations and Zoom meetings all get together and still see each other. And it's something, there's something about really focusing on the voice of the person. Yes, it's great to be in person with them, but being able to focus on the, on the voice, I, I'm a phone girl now. I never was before. I will not screen another phone call again. If you call me, I'm going to pick up. That is so interesting because I hate the phone and now I've had to learn to love the phone again. And, uh, and I have so many conversations. Sometimes when I'm doing my makeup, I'll put the phone on speaker and just catch up with a girlfriend. And there's been so much stress during COVID. There's been so much stress um, with everything happening around the world right now with anti-black racism that I have needed the phone more than ever. You know, like talking on the phone is almost like this new thing. I haven't done it since high school or elementary school. So that's a good one, LA. So here are the things, I've got a list. <laughs> um, my relationship with my body, way better when I'm just at home because who cares? Uh, my nails. So I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna see my esthetician again. And then the last one, every morning I walk with my kids and we go out with the dog and it's every day like clockwork. And when it was a little bit colder, we would do an outdoor workout um, now that it's warmer, we have a route that we go through and we play games. I don't ever want to lose that connection with these kids and I don't ever want to lose that time where I'm just not thinking about anything but being in the moment. So let's hope, let's like cross our fingers that we can hang on to all of this good stuff uh, that we've learned. And we asked our viewers the same question actually. Yeah, fingers crossed my friends. Here's what habits they'll be carrying forward with them. Charlene says online grocery shopping. I love it. 
Kim says, keeping a stock of essentials at all times in my home, that's actually a great tip. Tanya wrote, being gentler with myself, focusing on what matters. I love this, love, health, and happiness. And Colleen says, much better hand washing practices. That's another good one. Debbie says, taking life slower, baking more, living in the moment. And Kimberly says, making bagels from scratch. Oh, I'm impressed. I wonder if she's using Chef Randy Feltes' wet recipe that he showed us here on the show. Great answers, everybody. I'm just glad we're thinking about it and thinking forward in such a positive way.